So, you think that's an epic migration? It's not. This is. Welcome to Christmas Island. Located in the Indian Ocean, this tiny isle is known for its beautiful scenery, wonderful wildlife, and, wait a second, what are those? So, the island's famous for its red crabs, and these animals live in the forest all year round. They're terrestrial species, and at the onset of the monsoon each year, which is usually um, November, December, all these 40 million red crabs migrate from the forest down to the coastline to the water's edge to conduct their annual breeding migration. There's a reason why it's considered one of the world's greatest migrations because these crabs just take over everything. They swarm into the township, they close roads, they take over the beaches. From a distance, all you can see is just like a, a red line and as you get closer, you notice that it's just literally thousands and thousands of these animals all heading in the same direction together. This is Dion Maple. Dion's job is to find the calm before the red storm, because let's face it, crabs don't exactly adhere to the rules of the road. He's pissed. <laughs> There's a lot of planning involved in one of these red crab migrations. For the months leading up to the onset of the monsoon, the park staff are out setting up little fences alongside the roads, uh, establishing grids for the crabs to go underneath the road to avoid traffic. And also we have one crab bridge that lets the crabs climb up and over the road and back down safely. The red crabs don't know the road rules, so they just migrate where they want to. But what we do is just try and shuffle them around a bit and keep them out of harm's way. The daring eight kilometre journey begins with the wet season's arrival. After that, it's crustacean invasion. This breeding event can take up to three months and consists of a migration time through a breeding process and then a period of time when females brood their eggs, culminating in a spawning event of eggs into the sea and then even later on when those larvae that were released into the sea come back onto land as return crabs and then make their way onto the island. Millions of baby crabs, perhaps even billions, form a stunning sea of red across the beaches, up the walls and down the road, all to meet their moms back in the forest. Christmas Island is very unique, not just for the red crab migration, but for the fact that the plants and animals that live here have evolved in isolation for millions of years. A lot of the species here aren't found anywhere else on Earth. It really is the kingdom of the crabs. These crabs outnumber the human population 300,000 to one. So what does it mean for the island people? Well, let's just say they get a little more than a puppy for Christmas. During the migration, they keep their doors closed, carry a rake in their cars for clearing the roads, and completely avoid parts of town for months at a time. As for the tourists, People that visit are you know, overwhelmed by the spectacle and certainly undertaking something as unique as raking crabs off the road, something you could probably only do on Christmas Island. <laughs>